Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and with the Canadian Open just around the corner, we have some big names that won't be playing the first US Open Series Masters 1000 of the year. Of course, it's a combined event. The WTA and ATP are playing in Canada, but just at separate venues. But uh, let's have a look at the withdrawal list for the ladies, because some big names aren't playing. Having a look at the withdrawal list for the women, we've got Alexandrova. She's pulled out. Kastea has also pulled out. Danielle Collins has pulled out. Now, she's pulled out of the last few events. and has actually lost a lot of points due to that. So she's in the top 10 for now, but unfortunately not playing these big events will cost her a ranking. Sasnovich is also not playing. And Van Udvank has also pulled out of this event. Having a look at the players for the men that have pulled out this tournament, we've got Basilashvili. He's pulled out. Oscar Otter has also pulled out. And Sasha Zverev has also pulled out. Of course, Zverev, we're waiting to see back on tour. Uh, unlikely we're going to see him before the US Open. More likely we're going to see him after the US Open. And some of the players that are in doubt for this event, of course, Novak Djokovic. We know he can't get into Canada or America, but he hasn't officially withdrawn yet. So he's still on the entry list. He's still in the drawer, I guess, until maybe something comes out, but hasn't pulled out officially yet, but he is in serious doubt and, look, very unlikely to play. And also Leila Fernandez. Interested to see how she goes because she's coming back from injury, of course, hurting herself at the French Open. And this is her home event. She is wanting to play this event. She was supposed to play this week and withdrew from events. So she's in a little bit of doubt as well to play in Canada next week. So there you have it. They are the players that are not playing and also the players that are in doubt. Novak Djokovic hasn't officially pulled out yet. But I'm sure over the next couple of days, we're going to see an official withdrawal, hopefully before the draw comes out. Because remember, with Indian Wells, he didn't pull out until the draw came out, and then he withdrew at the last minute. Kind of screwed up the draw a little bit. So hopefully he pulls out way before if he can't get into Canada or in America. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most from not playing this event? Of course, the event starts on Monday, only a few days away, and it's a massive tournament going into the US Open Series, and some big names will be playing. Of course, Raf is coming back. Igor Fiontek on hard course for the first time in a long time. So let me know down in the comments below who you're going to miss the most at the Canadian Open.